Howdy Partnoids, I've uh, got some more updates for you guys today. Um, the old RS Norlatch array uh, is broken currently in uh, release because of this old chestnut that's been going on here where now instead of there being a cross, you've just got a straight bit of redstone uh, whenever it comes out the other side of a repeater, uh, which is a little bit annoying. So that's broken quite a lot of stuff, but um, specifically this RS Norlatch array now. So this is no longer a cross, therefore it's not powering this torch, which is why people were having a problem with the um, combination lock. As you can see, they just all light up, apart from the last one there. But, you know, it basically bugs out. Uh, so there's a couple of ways, as probably more than a couple of ways, but these seem the simplest to me um, that you can get around it. So offsetting the torches by one there or um, digging down here so i'll show you how to do both of those so stay tuned okay so uh the first one was sent to me by trevor's games one of the the partnoids i believe so uh props to him for this because i didn't actually have this i was using just the offset design here but the digging down is great because it just keeps everything in line still so all you're going to do is just cut everything down here and leave these uh, dots of redstone at the end. So you're just cutting down like that. And then uh, repeater in there. So it's always a repeater powering the block. And then you just run redstone back like that. And you do that for everyone. So it keeps everything in line, which means this is going to work better for the RS uh, Norlatch array when you use it with the combination lock. So you can cut out those blocks so that you have to leave this one here. So whenever there's redstone there you can't do that you need to cut it off so now that should be fixed so everything just lights up in order so that's probably why you guys were having problems with the combination lock so that's that and then the other way is just to simply offset the uh torches right uh the offset one so all you've got to do is cut off all these blocks, take these redstone bits out here, and then you're going to just move this black block across one like that, including the torch. Then you're going to have to move these repeaters out here along one as well. So they go into the new position for the torch. And then exactly the same there as well. So that looks a bit messy, but you can sort that out. I did that over here somehow. Yeah, you can shift that up one. Um, and then just connect that up with redstone dust and you've got exactly the same outcome. So it should be fixed. There she goes. Um, now, somebody asked me just to kind of show you guys what's changed. And this is pretty much it. It's not a lot, but it breaks a lot of stuff, which is uh, really infuriating. And the main thing is this. Um, so now in release, instead of this being a cross of redstone, it's just a straight strip. And then it's a cross when there's nothing going into it. So if you want it to be a cross, the best thing to do is actually just power it through a block with a repeater like that. Uh, but it's still a pain in the ass. And then obviously with the retractable lighting thing, the glowstone now doesn't conduct a uh, redstone signal. So that's the other one. And then this has been fixed, which is great. Uh, so this is a positive. Um, now repeaters don't get stuck when you log out and log back in. So as you can see, they just restart automatically, which is great. So that's, that's awesome for clocks and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this one. Uh, some guys are saying that the elevator is broken. And like I said in the tutorial, you're just going to have to play around with the bit at the top because there's no real answer. So if there are pistons sticking out and stuff like that, you just have to do a bit of bug hunting. Um, because every design is going to be slightly different. Uh, and unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Um, also, sorry for, kind of for the lack of content a little bit. I've been uh, pretty busy in real life at the moment. And I've been sorting out some stuff. So I've got a new mic and, and all that jazz. Just getting used to that. But I will have um, episode three of the Bat Cave out very soon. I've had loads of guys going on about that, which is fair enough. Um, I have been working on it loads. I just want it to be as good as it can be. So um, other than that, cheers for watching and I'll be sure to post more videos soon.